What's up, Rolling Phantom owners? Owners of one of the most powerful workstations to date. I'm super psyched about this product. I've been waiting for years for a product like this. It's a very powerful, creative, well thought of machine and it just keeps getting better. My name is Jamie Zatrell and I'm psyched to be here. If you guys psyched to be here, let me get an F minor if you're with me. Give it to me, F minor. Yeah. I, I can't hear it, it's, it's virtually impossible. Anyway, you guys know why you clicked on this video. I typed it in text, and now I'm gonna say it live for you. I'm here to talk about the second most powerful, most underrated, unspoken, unmentioned feature of firmware 2.0. Roland didn't even bother to put it on the website. No product specialists even talked about it. Shout out though to Ed Diaz and Scott Berry and all the other product specialists and even the marketing team. What's up guys? What was y'all thinking? What's, what's happening? This feature is so hot. None of you guys care to mention this feature. I really don't understand. I call it the second most powerful feature, but for me, honestly, I'm gonna personally say that it is the first and it's actually above multi-sampling for me. I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, I am a singer, songwriter, musician, and performer. And this particular feature is what I needed for my live performance. It was the main reason I bought the Rolling Phantom in 2019 with the anticipation that I would have a feature like this at me because one of the main reasons I bought the Fat Rolling Phantom in 2019 was to make money. That was my main reason to buy the Rolling Phantom. I'm a, professional, I'm a professional performer, that's what I do. I needed a machine that can handle uh, the demand that I had. And Roland answered that with, with firmware 2.0. But a hidden feature that they didn't bother to talk about. Let's talk about it. With this feature, I made over $2,500. That's 20 hours of $125 an hour. You know, I'm a small fry. On Zoom shows, doing different Zoom shows for corporations and parties. I killed it. I gave audiences a full show. Drums, bass, guitars, the whole nine yards. And I was able to play and have uh, and be accompanied by all the instruments of my production using Roland Phantom sequencer and this hidden feature. This hidden feature made it all possible and I wouldn't able to do it without it. Okay, I'm sure you guys are ready for this feature. You wanna know what it is? Get a little drum roll. The second most powerful, I'm sorry, the first and most powerful feature of firmware 2.0 is no other than group play. Group play, group play, group play, group play. Oh my God. Do you see what I got to show you? This thing is crazy, man. Everybody knows how Ableton Live works. You get the trigger clips, right? Here's the thing about me. I'm a neo soul R&B artist. And with my music, I have to give the people a feel. I have to feel this music and I have to be able to do this with ease and concentrate on what I'm giving. The last thing I need is a million buttons to have to push to make this all possible. Group play made this possible. It's just bottom line. Here's the premise. So imagine, this is what I needed. I needed, my desire was to get to any part of the song just as if there was a live band backing me up. As if a band was paying attention to me and I was giving head nods and giving direction to where I wanted to go in the song. Which means, any any parts of the song that I wanted to go to, and not only not only did I want to do that, I wanted to, I, and each part has to be had to be represented by a single button. But not only that, if I wanted to get into only singing and not pressing buttons, I wanted I wanted even buttons that can handle multiple parts. So imagine that Rolling Phantom has 16 pads on the right. With group play, some of those buttons can be single parts. Some of those features, some of those buttons can be com combination parts. For instance, if I want to sing the verse to, and go into a bridge and go into a chorus, I can do that with one button. 
or if I wanted to go into verse and stay there and loop that for a while, I could do that as well. Vice versa, I can get in there and create an intro and I can create an outro. 16 variations, 16 parts of a song that I can jump in and out of at any given time. And that's what group play allows you to do. It's crazy, let's get into it. Okay guys, here we go. The song that I'm using in this demonstration is one of the songs I perform. It's called Giving You the Best of Me by Anthony Hamilton. It's one of my favorite songs to perform. Uh, I thought this would be great because it has a lot of sections here uh, for group play. Here's my intro and uh, my verse, verse one, uh, chorus, chorus solo, verse two, bridge, bridge, then the... Br then bridge solo. And also I have my outro, outro solo with me playing the keys and and one with the uh, lead. And then of course at the, at the bottom here, I have all the uh, combos. The first one on the left is my verse, chorus, first verse, chorus. The second one is my second verse, chorus. And then the third one is the... Uh, the chorus again. I've just looped the chorus because it's close. I make it close and uh, quick to get to. And then, of course, last but not least, is my outro. And of course, I got my empty blocks to stop whenever I want to. And once again, I try to keep this same setup for every song. So I got the bass in the left here. I love this bass. This is probably the best sounding bass that I've heard out of a keyboard. And I'm still building on it. And here's my my keys, my rows in the right. And I play this the whole time of the song until uh, the Phantom goes into autopilot for my keys and bass and then I'm playing solo. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how the Phantom allows me to engage my solo. It's crazy. Let me do a little demonstration for you guys. As my buddy turn on the reverb. <laughs> here's, my, here's the intro. Check. I gave this song my own little feel. I'm gonna hit this chorus right here. It's gonna go right into it. And I can press these buttons at any time. Check. Uh, I can give myself enough time to do whatever I need to do, you know what I'm saying? Now remember, I'm playing bass and keys up until I get to my solo. Now I'm going to go into my combo, the bottom left, this is my verse, check it. It's simple, I love it, having you near me, having you near, our conversation, outrageous, you smile, and I smile and I say, oh, it's getting personal, personal, personal Let's stay for a while And play Girl, let's make this a moment Whoa, whoa, whoa. Giving you the best of me Amazing Amazing Giving you the best of me Oh, having you close to me yeah, yeah, just a little demo. Yo, yo, one of the things I want to focus on, guys, is these blocks, man. These empty blocks right here. I, I think this is a skill set that every Rolling Phantom user is going to have to learn. And I'm going to go ahead and just call it time stamping. Um, the ability to jump to any group, a section of the song at any given note is using these empty blocks. Uh, we know that variation play and pattern play changes in a, in a four bar, but the group play plays it all the way out. Um, and I'm doing a gig and I'm doing like a gala or a corporate event. Uh, someone steps to the mic. I got to be able to jump to the breakdown or even in the song quickly. And uh, this thing is going to be really important. All right. It's time for the magic, guys. My solo section. Check this out. I'm going to play my chorus. We, here's my uh, solo section. But here's my chorus. 
in my chorus, I have to play the keys and the bass. But in the solo section, Phantom goes into autopilot for me because that group has the bass and the keys in it. And then I'm able to play my solo. Uh, let me try to beat you. There you go. You hear the bass and the keys are all in it. And I probably should point out, guys, that this magical autopilot that I keep talking about uh, is nothing more than automation that was added to the piano roll via firmware 2.0. Don't want to confuse you. Let's start with the chorus, and then I'm going to jump right into my solo. Oops, 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 I forgot to switch it. Hold up. Let's try this again. All right, here's my chorus. All right, go ahead, get my solo, get it prepared. This, this solo is just gonna run right into it. Check. To the chorus. Yeah. Simple section. Let's, let's take it up a notch. We'll go to my bridge. Bridge. From the bridge to the chorus, solo. Crazy, right? Man, that's like pure magic, dude. Uh, yeah, right. So, like, at any given time, I can jump into a solo. And that's just crazy to me, man. That's, this group play has changed the game. Uh, I even got a... Uh, oh, check out my solo and my outro. Which could easily be my intro, too. Keys and bass. Let's go into my solo outro. Notice I still don't have a no bass and no keys in this straight outro or intro alternate intro. It's just a lot of fun, man. Here's my ending. And remember, my en my ending is just a four bar count, uh, empty with nothing in it. So it lets everything resonate. And sustain out, man. It's crazy. Look, my be looking for my next video. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do the full performance on this song. And then I got plenty of other things to show you guys. Thanks for watching, man. Uh oh, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Peace till next time.